Gatland has announced his Barbarians team to face Wales this weekend. Stay tuned to find out more. Welcome back guys. This weekend Warren Gatland is going to bid farewell to Wales by coaching the Barbarian team against Wales. Uh, and he's going to uh, he's picked quite a few interesting picks. He has a great team assembled. While Wales, they only could have considered people based or players based in Wales, no abroad based players, but it's still a good side. The Barbarians narrowly lost to Fiji and then they beat Brazil quite convincingly and this weekend they may be up against their toughest competitors yet, uh, the facing Wales. It's going to be a tough one I think. Wales, they are hurting after their World Cup loss and with their new coaching staff it's going to be a new era for them so they will want to get off with a win. Remember to subscribe if you haven't yet and you do like the content. Here is the team. Up front, Jones, Owens and Lewis will face off against the veteran Fijian Campisi Ma'afu and also the retiring Rory Best, the Ireland captain. He's captaining this match as well and it is his absolute last game. The other prop for the Barbarians in this game is going to be Vian Harpst. Jake Ball and Adam Beard will play against Luke Jones and the Canadian captain Aldron. Uh, watch out for Aldron. He is a very dangerous player. He can run very well. I Every week I say he's very close to Retallick if you want to think of any player to compare him to. He does really play like him. Uh, Shingler and then Tipperick and Wainwright are also in the side for Wales. They are playing against the loose trio of Pete Samu, Van Staden and Strauss. Pete Samu and Strauss, they are basically the hard running players in the Barbarian side. Uh, the guys that will want to take crash ball forward. And then Van Staden, the guy that is going to go over every ruck and contest for the ball. Then the halfback pairing of Thomas Williams and Evans will go up against the Crusaders number 9, Bryn Hall. Who I think was close to all black selection if it wasn't for Weber who had an outstanding year this year. Then the young Sharks number 10, Cohen Bosch. He's also going to want to run with the ball at each and every occasion. He loves running with the ball, passing it also. It's going to be a great game for him. Parks and Watkin, they are up against the two buses in the Barbarian side. Esterazen and Bastaro, they're going to love to run it as well. They love to carry it forward. They are buses for a reason. The bus is always full with them. Um, and I'll just like to see how they carry it forward. And also show their silky skills as well. The back three for the Welsh side is Adams, the top try scorer in the World Cup. The debutante McNichol, who is actually a New Zealander. And the veteran Halfpenny. They are up against the, a very exciting back three as well. In the form of Cornell Hendricks, who is in the Barbarian side. He's in for Mapimpi, who is... Uh, being rested for a change, he's played a hell of a lot of games this year, Mapimpi, so it's good for Hendrix to come in for him. Uh, remember Hendrix, who was really ill as well, he, his career was almost done a couple of years ago, it's good to see him at this level of the game as well. Then Lades, he's going to add some flair in each of his previous games as well, he's had that flair moments where he just passes the ball ridiculously well and then the Chiefs' fullback Sean Stevenson he is in place of Havili who has been just as good the benches for the two sides D Evans and Brown they are up against Brits who is also playing his complete last game for his career Miller and then Van Vyk who has been scrumming really well Seb Davies and Griffiths is going up against Biagi and Cottrell and then Gareth Davies the very good scrum half and Sam Davies uh, as well as Lane are up against Fermark, the veteran scrum off. Very good player, very quick as well. Um, and Meeks, a great carrier of the ball, great center. He's very, very good with passes as well. And Matt Duffy, who is a late inclusion in the side from the Blues team. Guys, this is going to be a great game to watch. I can just tell you it's going to be a lot of great running rugby. The Welsh side has the potential to score great tries. And we know what the Barbarians can do. Um... If you look at how they played against Fiji, they weren't at their best. Maybe at the last few minutes they played a lot better, uh, showing you what they could actually do. Then against Brazil, they weren't as effective as they should have been, but you could blame it maybe on they knew they would win. But this week, this game, it's going to be the hardest one. This whole tour basically is set up for this game, I think so. 
it's going to be a big one. I think it's going to be a great one to watch. Great running rugby. At the end of the day, I think the Welsh side might win it. I wanted to say Barbarians, and then at the late, latest second I said Wales for some reason. I think the Wales side is going to win. That's what my heart says, apparently. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know who you want to see playing really well in this game. For me, I would like to see Kerwin Bosch play really well. Cheers. Bye.